Now, North East playwright Trevor Wood has been announced as the winner of the prestigious Crime Writers Association Prize for his thriller about a homeless veteran living on the streets of Newcastle. Trevor spent time volunteering at the People's Kitchen in the city as part of his research for The Man on the Street, and he plans to continue helping out. Julie Smith has been to meet him. Preparing tonight's three-course takeaway meal is the winner of one of the biggest crime writing prizes in the world and it was volunteering here that gave Trevor a much needed insight into the lives of homeless people. Partially I wanted to come and volunteer here for research purposes but the other half of it was that I can't write about this stuff and not give something back. I kind of always have felt that the homeless have been demonised to a large extent. Um, and I wanted to humanise them, so I wanted to put a human face to the people that would otherwise get bypassed in the street. Uh, so I, I, I tried to write with great sympathy and empathy. So my three main characters are all homeless. One of them's the ex-serviceman, one of them's an alcoholic, and one of them's a drug addict. Uh, and the challenge was to make them sympathetic to readers, so I worked very hard at that. Set in the darkest streets of Newcastle, the book was Trevor's first venture into crime writing and followed a university MA on the topic. Instantly, it gained a lot of support with predictions for it to be huge and reviews describing it as authentic, gripping and gritty. I've had great quotes from people like Lee Child and Val McDermott and Ellie Griffiths. Um, I've been invited to speak at festivals and on panels by, the, by those people who have read the book and thought it good enough to invite me along. And the, the readership have been phenomenal. I've lived here for nearly 30 years and, and I'm, I'm completely in love with the place. And it, I, I see the book as like a love letter to the city, really. The novel has also caught the eye of World Productions, the producers of Line of Duty and The Bodyguard. They contacted Trevor and are considering making it into a TV drama. Despite all this, being announced as the winner of the new Blood Dagger Award was completely unexpected. Uh, that's the nearest I'll get to the Oscars, I think. I mean, even to be shortlisted for the CWA Dagger was, was just an, an honour. And they did a live Zoom ceremony. So the, the guy was literally opening an envelope and, and calling out the name, and then they immediately switched your camera on. So I was suddenly <laughs> being broadcast to like the thousand people who are watching it live. Fans won't have to wait too long for the sequel, as Trevor's newfound talent for crime writing has led him to write this as a trilogy. Julie Smith, BBC Look North, Newcastle.